Well, I tried to make a video yesterday about taking off the carburetor and cleaning it, but I got the dreaded, your iPhone storage is full. some pictures on the iPhone so I could film this. It went about as well as I figured it would, the carburetor that is. Every video I see, you uh, take off these. I think there's eight screws on the top, two little things on the top with the, the star heads that you take out and then every video I've ever seen, the top just pops off and you can clean it out and clean out the jets and all that stuff. But I got it and all those out and yeah, that top didn't go anywhere. So I didn't feel like crying on it and stuff and ruining the gasket in there and then having to go find a new gasket. Yada, yada, yada. So I just put the screws back in, got card cleaner and sprayed the crap out of it and brushed it out with an old toothbrush still laying over on that table if you can see it. And put it back on, and I think it might have been a little bit of help. That little bird there, sure making a lot of noise. Anyway, today I'm going to try to change the oil in this uh, Impala. Got the engine rebuilt, I want to say 1999. And, uh, you know, I did the break in and changed the oil then. I don't think I've changed the oil since then, but there's probably 2,000 miles on the engine since 1999. So he's kind of parked it in the garage, got it out, drove it around a little bit each spring. Uh, took it on the highway once in 2013 to a car show about 20 miles from here. That's that's about it. So uh, I can remember how old to get that oil canister out. It's got, you know, the old uh, bolt-in oil canister. We'll look down in there. But I've been kind of putting it off because I, I don't really like to do it. But, you know, it's got to be done. It hasn't been changing ever. It's going to be interesting. But it was a little bit low on oil. I think uh, I got some leaks on the the valve cover gaskets. I tightened down the screws yesterday except for one it's like under the brake booster. I'll have to get one of those sideways screwdrivers for that. But I moved some cars around, moved that out by the garage, get my janky jack out, and that's a rough looking bird. Anyway, we'll uh, see what we can do today and see what we can destroy. I'm gonna pull it here in front of the garage. We got some cement so I can do some jacking on it. Get off the ground. Yeah, in high school, uh, I always used to. This is a great door. There we go. In high school, I always put her up on ramps and uh, change the oil that way, and that's really convenient, but for some reason, I can't use ramps anymore. I try to get a car up on ramps, and the ramps just slide away. I don't know what I'm doing wrong now, but. Uh, I did pick up a little bit of tunage in here, but. That was amazing because they're always full. I think I just filmed that scene in slow motion. So <laughs> I don't know if I'll put it in or not, but uh, I think my car video that I didn't get to put on there because, you know, storage issues. I talked about this tire 
they've been going flat every single day and because uh, the tires are all weather checked from setting around for 20 years but I put in some of that green slime stuff and the tires stayed up for a whole week so pretty good deal um, if you need a quick tire repair or something I gotta get some new tires for it hopefully get some wheels but uh, you know I moved the truck out here so I could put the car there so I could change the oil and well oil filter is uh, in the truck so you gotta walk back out here see serenity and grab the old mix filter here and walk back and try to get this job started and I'm gonna see if she can kind of settle down on the jack stand here before I crawl under there Well, I wish I had something to lay on, but I can't find anything. So let's just look under here, see what we got going on. There's the pan bolt, I think. You see, that hasn't been touched in a while. And there's the, uh, the oil filter thing. Hopefully the one I got fits in there. It looks uh, kind of short. And here's my power steering area that needs a little bit of attention it looks like and, but yeah let's see if I can get this bolt off let's see if we can get this oil changed as one might imagine we a little 11 sixteenths here biggest socket in the set and it doesn't fit on there for the first time we have to crawl back out from under here and go find something that fits uh, I got another set over there and 13 16 will do it it's a spark plug thing but you know Whatever works, works. And get down here. And then 15 sixteenths. I don't know if it's a sixteenth, that would seem kind of weird to me. Uh, this other set. Let's see what we got in here. Alright, got this other set bigger sizes. I didn't really want to use this one because this is kind of a, a cheaper set of tools. And uh, three see if I can do it. Let's put down over that one. See what 13 16 does. Nope. Kidding me. Anyway, I don't want to bust these sockets. Seven eighths. Eureka. That's a big uh, bolt there. Let's see. Take off my adapter on my persuader bar here. It's actually a half inch drive, which is amazing. That's on old Lefty Lucy. And let's see what I can do here. Hopefully, I don't strip this out. We'll see. Well, it turned great and got some oil drippage there, so. Uh, We'll get that off of there. Kind of getting oil all over my hands. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to get on my phone. But we'll see. Yeah, pretty good. Got it off there. That oil is a bit black, of course. Been in there a while. I'll let that drip. And I started taking the bolt off of the oil filter there. And it's coming off real easy. We'll see if I got the right oil filter or if we're taking another trip to the parts store to see if we can uh, get an oil filter up there. Hopefully it's right, but I don't know. That cylinder looks pretty long and that box looks kind of short, but we'll see here in a second. Okay, so here's what this looks like. It's up in there. Canister, heavy as hell. And they knock that down and oil drops all over the place. Can't see under there, but if you need to oil up your tools, uh, finding a car with one of these 
is a great way to get oil, you know, all over your tools. You're gonna have to spend an hour cleaning them up. And you can get a kit to switch these to a new one, but I mean, all original style. Just gonna leave it like that. Apparently there's some sort of spring down in there or something. I have to get that figured out. Oh, sorry. There's a spring down in there or something. You have to get that figured out. Uh, I can't, you know, how do you tell if these are dirty? I don't know. I'm getting oil all over the place. I have to clean that all up. Let's see if this new one actually fits in here. how this stuff goes in here. Got a spring in a little deal. So, <laughs> I to figure that out. I guess optical illusions or something. That box didn't look big enough, but that oil filter I got, it's the exact same size. Looks the same, besides that it's clean. And hey, it did come with a new gasket to put up in there. <laughs> If I can get up there to get it in there, we'll see. But cool. We'll try to get this back together. I'm not sure about the spring deal. We'll see what happens. I really should have known better than to take a shower before I did this. I'm gonna have to take another one. But anyway, I couldn't get the old gasket out on the top of that fuel or the top of that uh, oil filter so the best thing to do there is just leave the old one in there hope she doesn't start spraying oil everywhere when you start up so let me uh, it's something to get back in there i'm going to consider getting that adapter kit to get the modern oil filters in there because that was just something else uh, let's see, 5W20, probably not what I want to put in there, 10W30, the old Harvest King, only the best for the Impala here, find me a funnel, get some oil in here, probably should go buy another quart because that oil filter canister probably holds a quart on its own, so I'll dump this in there and check the oil and make sure it's not spraying out everywhere. And probably head up to the farm store and get another quart of this to put in there. I've got all that oil in there. Uh, five quarts. I said I'd probably grab another quart because that oil filter thing just holds so much oil. But we'll check the oil. Right now we're going to start her up and see how bad the oil is gushing all over the ground. Before I have to take that canister back off, dump oil everywhere and force that old gasket out of there so I can put the new one in. Uh, in it. A thicky in it. Hopefully I can uh, sit on here without it falling off the jack stand. or, you know, within 10 feet of me. It's just, uh, these videos would be a lot shorter if I had to just get organized. Hey, nice spider there. Little buddy. Ah, uh, here she is. The old PB blaster. It's some good stuff. 
Well, thanks for watching another video. If you want to subscribe, click that subscribe button down there. And I'm not getting a whole lot of views yet, but I uh, hope to start bumping that up. You know, maybe be a little more entertaining or something. That might help. But uh, we'll keep doing these videos. I'm not sure what I'm doing next on it. Uh, probably just driving it around, really. I want to get the floors fixed. But uh, that'll probably be more of like a winter deal. But uh, we'll find other things to do. Uh, I know I'll have some stuff to do on the charger and the truck. I'm taking the truck to get some ball joints here pretty soon. But we'll tell you. We'll let you know how that goes.